How's it going, Habibis? We joined another Meta Weekly and we got another top 16 finish. This time, not with Dinos. If you guys want to see that video, I'll link it above. But this time it was with Thunder Dragons, which I was going to make a Thunder Dragon video anyways, just to update the deck because it has recently gotten a huge buff with Colossus becoming completely unlimited and Wyver Burster becoming unbanned. So I decided why not take the deck to the Meta Weekly, see how we do, and we crushed it. We got ninth place out of 160. We ended up going four and one in our matches. So these are in, in uh, best of three matches. And we were actually the low seed, <laughs> very low seed because we signed up late. And it was a great, great uh, competition. This is DK's Meta Weekly. Uh, the duel that we ended up losing the match, uh, to be honest with you, this guy misplayed several times. He was probably the player that didn't understand his deck the most out of the other players I faced. These four players are very excellent. This, this one right here, he always competes in these tournaments. So it was a very competitive tournament. It was a lot of fun. And I'm very proud of how the deck performed. You know, I think that in this current meta, Colossus is a huge boss monster to have. It stops Tenpai dead in his tracks. We will talk about that and more in these replays. But if you guys like this video, be sure to like the video and also consider subbing to the channel. I would really appreciate it. Helps out a ton. Helps me get these videos out a lot sooner as well. So let's get into the replays. I'll show you guys some of the duels from Meta Weekly and then some duels that we had in ranked just for fun. All right, so this one is a bit of a longer duel, so I'm going to fast forward through a good chunk of it. Our opponent bricked. They are playing D-Link Tenpai. And uh, as you see, they, they got all going second cards. We're essentially, our, our goal of this deck is to try to set up Colossus, right? We are playing two Colossuses in the extra deck, and they are so huge for our, our, our combos. They're so huge with getting stuff in the graveyard. If, if you already use Colossus, the first one, uh, which previously we'd have to deal with if you already use the first one, then you can't just get rid of stuff off the field with uh, another one because you didn't have it. But now you do, so I think it makes the deck that much better. And in this particular format, Colossus is king. Uh, we're going to see these going second cards going crazy here. They're going to triple tactics us. And uh, as you see here also, we have Hierarchic Seal on the field. Hierarchic Seal is a great disruption that we had to give up on when they banished Wyver Burster. But now that it's back, we can go into it much, consi more, much more consistently. We didn't go into it using the Baby Dragons this time. However, it's typically uh, how we go into Hierarchic Seal with uh, with those Collapse Serpent and Wyver Burster. I'm going to Ghost Ogre their uh, uh, Revine there because they take a minus one on it. And I was hoping they didn't have a card off of Boot Sector launch to summon a Rocket Monster or summon, but they did. And uh, we're going to Hierarchic Seal spin back that Splittle Knight. Summon out our Magnema, and here's where I kind of panic because I was nervous that they were going to have enough damage for game. I think they were missing something. I forgot what it was, but essentially, they didn't have enough for game. I think they realized that. So they're going to have their uh, their Joe Biden here, Biden, attack me, and then they're going to go into Dispatter. So now they realize they can't go for game. They're going to set up their disruptions, and I'm kind of at the back foot here because, you know, I thought that I should have been able to set up a little bit more considering that they just passed their turn, turn one, but... You know, it happens. They're they're going second cards, you know, held it in check. We bait out the, the uh, Dispatter effect. The Dispater uh, destroys our Drew Swarm. We get to draw a card off of Brandon Regained. Brandon Regained is so huge. And then now you see those baby dragons coming in clutch. Give us bodies on the field. We are going to go into our own Splittle Knight and banish the Biden from the graveyard. So remember that Biden comes back after three attacks are declared in a battle phase. So it's a big pain in the butt to deal with. I don't like it. And uh, we're going to ash this uh, Hierarchic Seal. So we are now back in control. And I made sure to do this last. I went into my Colossus last. Because I wanted to make sure that I ended on Colossus. I felt comfortable at this point in the duel that I was going to end on Colossus. But we're still not done. We go into Thunder Dragon Titan. And we're going to use this Thunder Dragon effect to pop that Boot Sector launch right there. And uh, Thunder Dragon Titan was huge this duel. Uh, huge this, this tournament altogether. But we're going to get rid of him. We're going to go into Typhon here. Okay, so the reason we go into Typhon is because they go into they have Dispater still, and I wanted to make sure because it's Ten Pi, they have a lot of damage on the board that they can put up. I wanted to make sure that I forced their battle phase early, and basically by doing that, I did that uh, by going to Typhon. Now here's where I make my misplay of the tournament. I use SP Little Knight's effect like a doofus there, essentially giving away my SP Little Knight. Very bad play by me. Luckily, we are able to survive. They're going to banish our Colossus so that they can activate Chaos Space, go into Lubelion, and they're going to basically try to take back control of this duel. And if you see, it's kind of more of a simplified game state. 
they don't have any cards in hand. I only, you know, have four cards total. So uh, it's it's a very it's a very uh, you know resource management game here. They're gonna banish our Magnemut, so we can't bring it back with Regained. No problem. We both have Regained set up. If you see, okay, Regained is a great great card. So I'm not going to allow them to keep it on the field. I'm gonna Ghost Ogre it because. I don't want them to draw a card each turn, and I don't want them to get a monster each turn. All right. We're going to use that Thunder Dragon Fusion effect to get the roar, bring back the Thunder Dragon Fusion, and go into our Colossus, and they're going to banish it with Baldrake. I knew that was coming, and I was prepared for it. So now I'm going to use Thunder Dragon's effect, and then I'm going to Tribute Set my Thunder Dragon and summon out a Colossus. The reason I Tribute Set there is because if they do have Nibiru, when you set a monster, it does not count towards a normal summoner set, so therefore it doesn't count towards your five summons for Nibiru. So I always tribute set if I could. They are going to go into their Dragon Ruler and just attack. And like I said, very simplified game state here. Um, I want to get rid of SP Little Knight once and for all. It keeps coming back. I'm going to just attack over it. Then I'm going to use my Lubellion effect to tribute the Drew Swarm. Drew Swarm is going to trigger getting rid of uh, the Dragon Ruler. And then I'm going to go Thunder Dragon Fusion here. Get Thunder Dragon Hawk. I'm going to use my Hawk to summon out another Colossus. Roar is going to trigger, giving me a Thunder Dragon Dark, and it's going to bounce back to my hand. So now I'm just, I'm adding resources. I'm putting, you know, more boss monsters on the field. I shotgun the Maxi there because I think I could finish him for game next turn. It doesn't exactly turn out that way, but, you know, it still works out. We're going to swing here for big time damage, big boy damage, and uh, we're going to pass turn, and they're not going to have anything. So this was game one. Match one, game one of the tournament. Uh, we end up losing game two. And then game three was a big back and forth duel that ended up going to time, unfortunately. I could have swung for game, but I wanted to make sure I had enough damage on the board. I, I remember, if you were watching the stream, I was rushing my battle phase so that I can have enough damage on the board so that they can have the lower life points because I knew we were approaching time. But anyways, great match there. Doggy's a phenomenal duelist. And uh, let's go into the next round. I'll show you guys that replay. All right, so this is round two. We're going up against a pretty based runic deck. I'm not going to lie, playing duel duality here um, at the time of this duel of this of this exact moment i didn't know i was playing up against runic so um the hand is okay it turns out to be better than i thought it would be especially when this duality hits we're going to called by the maxi which is going to negate our maxi for next turn but that is not a big deal and we're going to summon out our magnuma i'm going to hit him with a ttt take a peek at that hand and we're going to get rid of the runic tip so now i'm going i know i'm going up against runic I know that Colossus will hurt Runic a good amount. At the same time, too, they do have the ability to negate my uh, Colossus. So I had to worry about that. And uh, we're going to just end on Colossus Pass here. But we do have some follow-up. We set up Regained. We have Drew Swarm in hand. They draw into Quem. And we're going to summon out our Magnemut. They're going to use Quem's effect to send Ecclesia to the graveyard. And they're going to try to activate Ecle uh, Quem to summon the Ecclesia. We're going to banish it using Drew Swarm. And then they're going to go duality here. And they duality. I remember it was a really funny moment in uh, in the tournament uh, during the stream. Let me know if you guys have ever seen this card before. They go into Fabled Unicorn. And I remember when I was streaming, I was telling the chat, I was like, I've never seen this card in my life. This is a pretty cool card. While you and your opponent have the same number of cards in your hand, negate all card effects, uh, cards and effects activated by your opponent, and then destroy them. So, it's a very interesting card, and uh, Regain triggered when we both had the same amount of cards, so it got destroyed, unfortunately. However, it was all for naught, because we were able to make some plays here. There goes that baby dragon doing his thing. We're going to go Chaos Angel, banish the Quem, and then we're going to summon Maxi, because it's the most powerful card in all of Dual Monsters, and we're going to swing here for big boy get damage and big boy game. And, uh... GG. This guy was really great, though. I big shout out to him. He was he was very uh very nice guy and uh, great great deck. Honestly, probably one of the best runic decks I've seen. All right, so this is not in the meta weekly. This is uh, during our master rank grind, and we are gonna start off here with a lure of darkness, getting rid of the thunder dragon roar. I just kind of like the sequence that uh, our follow up goes for for next turn. So we're gonna see here. We're gonna summon out the 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 dark. Dark is going to let us eventually get a uh, Thunder Dragon. 
We're gonna add that Thunder Dragon to go into IP Mask Arena, activate Thunder Dragon, activate Thunder Dragon again. So now I'm just trying to load up my graveyard with uh, Thunder Monsters. We're gonna put back the Lubelion, draw into a Chaos Space, kind of a dead draw. Go Sprite Elf here, Wyvern Burster, add it, go into uh, Colossus, and put the Thunder Dragons back in the graveyard and end our turn. So you might be thinking, okay, not much. Sprite Elf with Colossus. However, remember, we do have the IP Mask Arena in the, field, in the graveyard. And like I mentioned earlier, Branded Regained is a great, great card. We're going to play Max E here. And they are going to summon their Imseti. We're going to bring back IP Mask Arena. Okay? Then I'm going to chain Drew Swarm to that. And also Regained was Chain Link 1. So we're going to get Drew Swarm on the field. We're going to summon out Magnema. And we're going to bring back IP Mask Arena. And this IP Mask Arena Sprite Elf combo is pretty killer. I'm sure you guys have seen it a billion times, especially with Sprite, but it's just so uh, crucial to be able to like set up disruptions during your opponent's turn. So we're going to add Roar for follow-up. We get Magnemut at them turn, and then we're going to draw a card. So we just are getting so many resources here, okay? They send, they send Snow to the graveyard, okay? What I do here is I chain IP Mascarina. We go SP Little Knight, okay? What I'm going to do next is is I'm going to do SP Little Knight Chain Link 1 to banish the King Sarcophagus, Chain Link 2, Drew Swarm, to get rid of Imseti. So Imseti being sent to the graveyard will resolve first, so I don't have to worry about any effects triggering there, and then we're going to banish the King Sarcophagus. Okay? And SP Little Knight is going to trigger here. I'm going to get rid of the Diabell Star. I saw they had one card in hand. If they set up Sinful Spoils, they would need a face-up card. I want to make sure that I limited them as much as possible. And we were able to do that with a simple, simple combo there. All right, Habibis, this is the deck list that we took to the Meta Weekly. And we got ninth place out of 160. Very solid competition. Uh, I'll just touch on a couple things. Ghost Ogre is huge against Tenpai being able to pop the field spell. So I upped this from one to two. Um, I was actually playing at zero, but... Uh, before the tournament actually started, like last minute, I upped this from one to two. So it, it became it became a huge, huge card for me, and it, it came up a couple times where it might have won me a couple duels. So I really suggest having this card. Um, I do feel like we have a good mix of going second and going first cards in this deck. The bestials act as pseudo going second cards, or I'm sorry, pseudo hand traps if you are going up against a uh, deck that uses light and dark. So. Definitely something to play around with here. I like the ratios of normal summons. I have three solars and one aloof. So four normal summons in the deck. And, uh, you know, I do consider playing a second triple tactic. I've thought about cutting the allures. Also something else you notice, in favor of the baby dragons, I have decided to cut the Horus engine. Horus engine's excellent still. I really enjoyed it. But I feel like sometimes it's a win more thing. And it doesn't always fulfill the purpose of the deck so i really like having the baby dragons over the horus engine you could say to have a third chaos space as well but i feel like this deck did really well i don't want to mess with the consistencies now because we did really uh we did really a lot better than i thought we would in the meta weekly so this is what we're rocking with here also something you might want to you know consider is playing a level six i chose lars because i got that dino dna in when and it stays with me at all times so I decided to go with Lars. You can do whatever level 6 you want, but it does happen a few times where I summon out my Hawk, summon out my Roar, or one of my Bestials. They're all level 6, so uh, having a good rank 6 is, is good. And then obviously, two Thunder Dragon Colossus. I've thought about playing two Titans again, because it comes up from time to time where I wish I had a second Titan, but the two Colossus is perfect. I don't think you need three and one. You know, we don't want that. Also, something I didn't even mention this entire time, I'm just now realizing, looking at this deck, we got Gold Sark to two. Gold Sark is like the best starter in the deck. You know, it's the best one card starter in the deck. So you got to play it at two. I totally forgot to say that. So there's that as well. Um, I'm really enjoying the deck, guys. I love it. Thunder Dragons are, are just the, the nostalgic. You love to see it. You love to see it do well. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. I will see you guys later. Sub to the channel if you're not already. Peace and love. Habibis, take care of yourselves. Go out of your way to make somebody's day special.